Lucas, Luke 7. Now when he had ended all his sayings in the audience of the people, he entered into Kafar Nachum, and a certain centurion servant, who was dear unto him, was sick and ready to die. And when he heard of Yahusha, he sent unto him the elders of the Yahudim, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. And when they came to Yahusha, they besought him instantly, saying, that he was worthy for whom he should do this. For he loves our nation, and he has built us a synagogue. Then Yahusha went with them, and when he saw, rather, and when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Adonai, trouble not yourself, for I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Wherefore neither thought I myself worthy to come unto you. But say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. For I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers, and I say unto one, Go, and he goes, and to another, Come, and he comes. And to my servant, Do this, and he does it. Then Yahusha heard these things, rather, when Yahusha heard these things, he marveled at him and turned him about and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great belief, no, not in Yahshara'el. And they that were sent, returning to the house, found the servant whole that had been sick. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Navith, and many of his Talmudim went with him, and much people. And when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And much people of the city was with her. And when Adonai saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the coffin. And they that bore him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto you, Arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. And there came a fear on all, and they glorified Yah, saying, That a great prophet is ring, risen up among us, and that Yahuwah has visited his people. And this rumor of him went forth throughout all Yahud, and throughout all the region round about. And the Talmudim of Yahuchanan showed him of all these things. And Yahuchanan, calling unto him two of his Talmudim, sent them to Yahusha, saying, Are you he that should come, or look we for another? When the men were come unto him, they said, Yahuchanan the immerser has sent us unto you, saying, Are you he that should come, or look we for another? And in that same hour he cured many of their infirmities and plagues, and of evil ruachoth. And unto many that were blind he gave sight. Then Yahusha answering said unto them, Go your way, and tell Yahuchanan what things ye have seen and heard. Hath how that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised. To the poor the Besara is preached. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. And when the messengers of Yahuchanan were departed, he began to speak unto the people concerning Yahuchanan, what went ye out into the wilderness for to see, a reed shaken with the wind? By what went ye, rather, but what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they which are gorgeously apparelled and live delicately are in king's courts. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and much more than a prophet. This is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, 
which shall prepare your way before you. For I say unto you, Among those that are born of women, there is not a greater prophet than Yahuchanan the Immerser. But he that is least in the kingdom of Yahuwah is greater than he. And all the people that heard him and the publicans, Yahuwah justified, being immersed with the immersion of Yahuchanan. But the parashim and lawyers rejected the counsel of Yahuwah against themselves, being not immersed of him. And that that I said, Whereunto then shall I liken the men of this nation, and to what are they like? They are like unto children sitting in the marketplace, and calling one to another, and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned to you, and ye have not wept. For Yehuchanan the immerser came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and ye say, He has a devil. The son of Adam is come eating and drinking, and ye say, Behold, a gluttonous man and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of all her children. And one of the Padashim desired that he would eat with him. And he went into the Padashim's house and sat down to meet. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Yahusha sat to eat in the Padashi's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment, and stood at his feet, behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Padashi, which had hit, bidden him, saw it, he spoke within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that touches him, for she is a sinner. And Yahusha answering said unto him, Shimon, I have somewhat to say unto you. And he said, Rabbi, say on. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one owed five hundred pence and the other fifty. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him most? Shimon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, You have rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Shimon, See this woman? I entered into your house. You gave me no water for my feet. But she has washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman, since the time I came in, has not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil you did not anoint, but this woman has anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore, I say unto you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. For she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. And he said unto her, Your sins are forgiven. And they that sat to eat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgives sins also? And he said to the woman, Your belief has saved you. Go in peace. <laughs>